I rented a dumpster and my neighbor thinks it's for everyone to use. I rented a dumpster for some upcoming landscaping and construction projects. It arrived on Friday. On Saturday night, my neighbor across the street dumped a large amount of furniture and other items into my dumpster. My security cameras captured everything, showing that he filled about three quarters of it. I have saved and backed up the footage. When I confronted him about removing his belongings from my dumpster, he denied everything and became aggressive when I mentioned the footage. He then slammed the door in my face. His reasoning was that since it's not on his property, it's not his problem. I called the police after this confrontation. Although the responding officer was sympathetic, he explained that it wasn't a law enforcement issue and suggested I sort it out with my neighbor or take him to civil court. Unfortunately, pickups need to be scheduled in advance to have the dumpster emptied, with the earliest availability next Monday. The dumpster company is fully booked through the middle of next week, so rescheduling is not an option. Plus, I must pay for each pickup, so I'd incur extra costs even if they could come earlier. Contractors are scheduled to begin on Wednesday morning, and they will fill the dumpster within a few hours if my neighbor's junk remains. The dumpster should have been more than large enough to handle the waste generated between Wednesday and Friday. However, I have nowhere to stash this neighbor's belongings without disrupting the contractor's work, nor do I have an alternative solution for the waste they will produce. Per our contract terms, I must provide a dumpster and handle waste removal. If I don't resolve this issue in time, I will need to reschedule with the contractors. They are already booked through the summer, which is why I scheduled my job well in advance. Rescheduling them will cause a domino effect, as other contractors cannot start their projects until this one is completed. I haven't reviewed all the contracts or done the math yet, but canceling or rescheduling these jobs would be quite expensive. We are in an unincorporated part of the county with no municipal bulk waste pickup. Residents must either take items to the dump themselves or hire someone to do it, which explains my neighbor's motivation for borrowing my dumpster. I would be willing to haul his junk away and take him to small claims court to recoup my expenses, but I've explored countless options and none can complete the job within the necessary time frame. My expenses will be significant enough to take this well outside of small claims territory if it doesn't get sorted ASAP. I'd really, really like to avoid having to take this to regular court because of the time and money involved, but I haven't been able to come up with a solution that will mitigate my expenses enough to do so. The only thing I can think of at this point is tossing this guy's trash in his driveway and hoping that it doesn't wind up starting World War III. That said, I am not particularly concerned about doing irreparable harm to our relationship. As far as I'm concerned, that ship has sailed. Update. I'm still in New York. The officer who responded to my initial call wound up calling me yesterday morning to ask for an update on the situation. I told him about the contractors coming by later that afternoon and my plan to sue my neighbor to cover the cost. He said he wanted to take another shot at getting this guy to do the right thing and came by about an hour later. The neighbor's wife actually wound up answering the door this time, and it seems like her husband had told her a very different story about the situation. Long story short, she came over to apologize and told me that her husband and son would start clearing their shit out within the hour, and she was true to her word. I called the contractor once the dumpster was nearly empty to let him know everything had been sorted out so he wouldn't have to spare a few guys to deal with it, and he was happy to hear that as well. The neighbor's wife actually came by again with a huge plate of homemade cookies as a peace offering a couple of hours later, which was very much appreciated. My parents actually opened up a bakery after my father retired, and my father was already planning on coming up here for the weekend, so he's going to bring a big box of treats for me to give them in return as a no hard feelings offering. I'm still not thrilled with this guy's behavior, but his wife is an absolute sweetheart, and it looks like the son had sort of been pressed into service by his father. I'd rather maintain a decent relationship with my neighbors, if possible either way. As of now, I've got a crew of guys working in my garage, and they are absolutely bumping some bachata, which makes me feel like I'm back home in the Bronx, but with a much bigger backyard. All in all, it seems like things have been completely and amicably resolved. Thank you to everyone who commented on my original post with suggestions. Relevant comment. Commenter, if I could speculate wildly for a moment, my guess is that her husband has been putting off taking care of that stuff for some time, and when the dumpster showed up he thought it was an easy opportunity to look good without actually doing much. Probably either told her he'd finally taken it to the dump, or that the neighbor agreed to let him use the dumpster. OP, you're pretty much spot on here. She said it had been sitting in their garage forever, and that he told her that I gave him permission to toss it in the dumpster provided he did so at a time that wouldn't get in the way of anything. Don't know whether or not she was aware that he'd chosen the middle of the night as his non-interference time, but that can be his problem.